Locker rooms down here on the end. Hello. Hang back, boys. Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump him in an alley. Let nature take its course. You good now. Go on. How you, Neville? Where you at, out, see? All right. I gotta go make the arrangements. Give them your name and such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, L.C.? New guy. New guy looks tough. My money's staying on the brawler. I gotta ask you something, L.C. What's that? All you niggas love beating the fuck out of each other? <laughs> nah, we'll beat the fuck out of anyone. <laughs> Even you. <laughs> now, that's rich, L.C. You a funny motherfucker. So what happens if we get caught? Probably what you think. <sighs> For a chance to go home again, it's worth it. No matter what happens, we should go. This is it. You nervous? Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this ends. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name, then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fighting niggas. Go on, they're waiting on you. And the jungle fights continue, boys! The next challenger to face Nick Boom Boom Beaumont comes in at over six feet tall, weighing approximately 220 pounds. This is Jack Knight Johnson! Louder! Louder! Had to start something. Scream! We have a new champion! 
That's it. That's it. Show me the love. Bomb me. All right. That's it, kid. Let's go. What happens now? You head on back to the locker room and collect your winnings. Where are you heading? Me? I got business to attend to. Excuse me. Few niggas really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect, that's for fucking sure. Lucky me. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. I've never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. I'll mix some vegetable oil in it. Makes the gasoline thick, sticky. We're just gonna let it soak in a little bit. <laughs> Work its way into every nook and cranny. <laughs> that way when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. <laughs> And you, you are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your legs. But as they burn, <coughs> you be hit in the gut with a sickening revelation. Before you die, you gonna feel your peck of burn. It's gonna curl and twist as the flames <coughs> Ah, 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 So that's that, then. Sure looks that way. You know, Sal wanted me to go to law school. Work for some big company. Maybe run for office. Do something decent with your goddamn life, you understand? Should've listened to him. It's in the blood, you know. Yeah. You are who you are. No point in arguing with yourself about it. Fuck you. I can't go out like this. Not like this! Say hello to Lou. Tell him no, Sal will be no, along shortly. Come motherfucker. Come Get your head! Like Christmas come early. What the fuck? Don't you know you're dead? Ah! Get the box in! I'm empty! Get that stupid son of a bitch!
Shouldn't have come here. plates that Sal Marcano stole from the Federal Reserve. I don't recall. Langan once told me he couldn't tell any other cheat. That the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. But I was just lying to myself. Look at how we treat each other. Passion is a sign of weakness, but greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die, for what? 
so someone can make a few bucks? Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> there ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or a Bobby Kennedy, but there always gonna be another Sal McConnell, another Sammy Robinson. Another Lincoln Clay. We are cruel and wicked people.